Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to access the PS Store if you're on a firmware lower than 3.68. So the PS Vita has now had a 3.68 update. If I head over to my settings and go into system update and just update using Wi-Fi. As you can see, a new version of system software is available, 3.68. Now guys, I would advise you not to update to this because that probably means that the 3.65 and 3.67 exploit will be patched. So if I just go into my um, system settings right now, as you can see I'm on 3.67, so I'm not going to update until I find out that 3.68 supports VHBL and maybe that the exploit still works. So apparently uh, Sony actually updated it to um, stop piracy, so that could mean that the exploit is actually patched. Anyway, so if you guys want to access the PlayStation Store, so if I was just to go on it normally, like right now. It would actually come up with this um, sort of notice saying you must update to the latest firmware. Now I don't want to do that because obviously then I can't do the new exploit. So what you want to do, you just want to back out of this, close everything down. Then just head over to your settings. Then you want to scroll down to network, then you want to go to Wi-Fi settings, then you just want to wait for it to load. Then once it's loaded, you just want to tap on your um, Wi-Fi hub, then you want to head over to advanced settings. From here, you just want to scroll down, and where it says DNS settings, what you want to do is you want to change that from automatic to manual. Now this is where you want to enter the DNS server for the Play Store so you can connect to it without having to update your firmware. So this is what you want to type in. So guys that is the number you need 212.47.229.76 After you've typed that in you can just return and then just close the keyboard. You then just click OK on that then you just want to go back several times. Now you can just back out to the home screen and you can go ahead and launch the Play Store and see what happens. So it's going to say please wait a few times and then it's just going to put you straight into the Play Store and you guys can just download whatever you want. So let's say you're on 3.67 and you haven't installed VHBL yet, you will be able to do this by watching this video. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.